It appears that a recent powerful explosive eruption created a fairly large hole in the ozone layer, temporarily increasing the exposure to harmful ultraviolet rays across a region that hosts more than 1 billion people. This occurred as a result of a highly unusual explosive eruption of Hunga Tonga Hunga Ha by within the nation of Tonga on January 15th, 2022, where what was previously a 3.5 kilometer wide island exploded with an energy equivalent to the detonation of 61 million tons of TNT. This created a Pacific Ocean spanning tsunami which was initially 90 meters or 295 feet in height but rapidly dissipated as it expanded outwards causing more than $150 million in damage and an event which represented Earth's largest explosive volcanic eruption in 109 years. Yet, there were many unusual things about this eruption. For example, most estimates of the Hunga Tonga eruption place it at about the same size as Pinatubo's 1991 eruption, potentially a bit larger. However, whereas Mount Pinatubo ejected 20 million metric tons of sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere, the Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai eruption only ejected 450,000 tons and was ash poor. Unlike Pinatubo, Hunga Tonga's eruption column was almost completely composed of water vapor and had a white rather than gray color, which caused the stratosphere layer of Earth's atmosphere to experience an increase in water vapor of a little less than 10%. Not only did this slightly warm rather than cool the planet, but the presence of vaporized seawater also created a hole in Earth's ozone layer. This hole expanded over much of the Pacific and Indian Oceans and in a week caused the amount of atmospheric ozone to decrease by as much as 5%, representing a decrease so dramatic that nothing even close to that rate had ever been measured. This might sound horrifying knowing that ozone blocks much of the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays with every percent loss resulting in an ever-increasing risk of skin cancer. But there is some good news. The growth of this brand new ozone hole stopped two weeks after the Hunga Tonga Hunga Haapai eruption occurred, meaning that what effects occurred were short-lived, only covered a minority of the planet, and the atmosphere is already recovering, and is now almost back to its pre-eruption levels. Although there were fears that the effects of this eruption might widen the still shrinking but existing ozone hole over Antarctica and parts of the southern hemisphere, these concerns do not appear to be warranted given that only negligible effects have been witnessed there in the past year. To understand why a temporary ozone hole was created, we must first remember that seawater is 1.9% by weight chlorine. Thus, when 143 million metric tons of seawater was ejected high into the atmosphere, the amount of chlorine increased by 2.717 million metric tons. This represented a temporary increase of 11.8% as the atmosphere beforehand contained 23 million metric tons of this gas. The reason why I am mentioning this is that chlorine is the main cause of ozone depletion, and the depletion human released chlorine caused was so severe that two protocols were made that effectively banned all ozone depleting substances containing this material in 1987 and 1992. Chlorine and other similar gases remove ozone from the atmosphere, turning it into oxygen, which could not block the majority of harmful ultraviolet rays that can cause skin cancer. The reason why chlorine was so deadly is that whenever a complex compound containing chlorine hits ultraviolet light, chlorine in that compound would break off into a singular chlorine ion. This chlorine would then combine with an ozone molecule, forming oxygen and chlorine monoxide. That chlorine monoxide would then combine with a single oxygen atom, forming oxygen aka O2 and a chlorine ion. This process would subsequently repeat via the same chlorine molecule for potentially tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands of times, removing substantial amounts of ozone from the atmosphere. The same thing essentially occurred due to the 2.717 million metric tons of chlorine ejected into the atmosphere, but strangely, it seemingly only caused reactions to occur when the rate of water vapor in a localized part of the stratosphere was 20 or more times higher than normal, possibly due to the limiting factor of another ion in the original seawater. This initially occurred during the first two weeks after the climactic eruption, but ceased as soon as the eruption plume sufficiently dispersed below this threshold across the planet. Thus, ozone depletion from Hunga Tonga is not currently ongoing and has probably completely ceased. As a final note, I would like to thank my new patron Mike Donaldson for supporting this channel.